the branding course in the marketing division is, uh, is an important course because it brings together a lot of the principles that students will have learned in kind of their 300 and 400 level coursework. So it's, while it's not at all a capstone course, it, it's highly assimilative of previous learning. And as you think about uh, coursework that is highly assimilative in nature, it's really important to apply it. So as I was thinking about creating exercises within the branding course that would bring together this previous learning, new learning, and enhance student comprehension of the principles, it occurred to me that me as talking head was absolutely the worst possible approach. And students were actually the very best spokespeople of the assimilation process. So that was my starting and genesis point. Moving from there, if you've decided students are the best approach to, to, if you will, in a way, sort of coach one another or make the, the principles of the course come to, to fruition, my job, as I see it as an instructor, is then to design as, as many and as many reality-based exercises as possible. It occurred to me, pulling from my own experiences in the world of work, that the times I had run into problems with branding was when I knew what I wanted to say, but nobody made me say it. And so that created the moment of, I want to ensure that a strong creative brief process is an integral part of the branding instruction within this class. And to bring that together, I wanted that to be the students creating and then presenting to one another a creative brief. So that literally was how I intended the, um, the, my first draft, if you will, of the course. That was, that was the exercise. What ended up happening was something far more organic than that. Because a student, the very first time I taught this course, when they saw the syllabus and saw what we were doing was, well, out of curiosity, Ann, who do you present creative briefs to? This is those moments as an instructor where you realize the students are indeed far more advanced than you give them credit for and they are far smarter than you are. And as I began to answer, I realized I had missed the joke, which was, it's one thing to hear me say who it is, it would be quite something else if the entire exercise was stood a bit on its head, if you will. And to instead of present a creative brief as if it's a knowledge moment, why don't you present a, create, a creative brief to the rest of the students as if they were the creatives to work on it? They are people who have a gift either with words or with vision, sometimes with sound, and they can bring ideas and make a sentence out of six paragraphs and with such magic that makes you shudder, but it's not easy. And so those creative people are an important and integral part of the essence of my course, which is branding. Because while we don't do it as branding people, those are the people that take the ideas to life. She asked us to take on um, the role of an individual who was a creative rather than just a student evaluating the presenter, which made it more challenging for us having to evaluate each other because we had to take on a different sort of persona, um, which was definitely a challenge. I think the assignment as a whole is, is empowering for everyone in the situation. So you have the teacher, you know, who is sitting there listening to these presentations, the creative brief assignment. She's sitting there listening to these presentations, and she has one perspective. But when you, get, when you get the entire classroom involved, you now have 35 perspectives on this presentation. So there's engagement at every level. The people up there presenting are engaged because they're actually giving a presentation. But now they're not giving a presentation to a teacher, they're giving a presentation to a classroom. They're giving a presentation to 40, you know, 35, 40 people. And I think that's very different. Also keeps the participants who are um, the viewers, I guess, keeps them engaged as well, because now they have to evaluate the presentation on, on the set criteria that they have. And so the fact that there's involvement on every level, I think that's really the strength of this type of assignment. Exactly. So we get the insight on what it is like to be on either side. Mm -hmm. We know that 
if we're standing in front of an audience of creatives, we know what the expectation, because we, we would know what they're looking for, what, you know, what we need to deliver, because we've been on the other side. We know what it's like to watch somebody deliver a very dry message that does not click with our creative minds. And, you know, that way as a marketer, if we happen to be, which we will, be standing in front of an audience and delivering our pitch, we know what would it would what take to be successful. We know, you know yeah. what the creatives are thinking. We know that now, being in the creative, you know, role play. Yeah. In the creative she, role. Yeah, so that's what she did. She, she did exactly that mm -hmm. and took it a step further, mm -hmm. and made it into a role play. 